let us discuss disconnected matrix space actually our main target is to learn connected matrix space concept but with the help of this concept we will learn that thing so let us see when we say the matrix space x is disconnected if it is possible to find two subsets of x a and b okay which will satisfy these four conditions the first condition is their union should be x second condition is none of them should be non empty and the last two conditions are a bar intersection b is equal to 5 and a intersection b bar is also equal to 5 in our previous video we have already seen this is definition of separated sets so you can replace third and fourth condition by just this single condition that a and b should be separated getting so let us recall what are the three conditions or what are the four conditions their union should be x their uh, they should uh, set should be non empty and a and b should be separated sets then if it is possible then we can say yes that matrix xd is disconnected matrix space see uh, let us draw the diagram so you can easily understand suppose this is a matrix space xd okay if it is possible to find sets a and b subsets of x okay which are subsets of x such that both of them should be non empty their union should be x and these two sets should be separated then we can say matrix x is disconnected matrix space let us discuss the next definition when we say it is connected matrix space so now let us discuss definition of connected matrix space in a simple language we can say a matrix space is connected if it is not disconnected okay so that means it is not disconnected and we say it is a connected definition of disconnected matrix space we have already seen okay the same definition we can uh, express in another way like this if it is not possible to express a given matrix space as a union of two non empty separated sets such uh, okay such that x is equal to a union b then we can say x is connected matrix space okay so this is definition of connected matrix space so make a screenshot of it and then we will stop in next video we are going to discuss few examples of connected matrix space